Hi. Happy Saturday. I just did something, and I'm really kind of excited about it, and I want to share it with you. But first, I need for you to understand that I am not a professional at any level when it comes to gaming, gaming files, or even understanding half of this stuff. But I need to tell you, Better Ruins did an update recently, and you can now configure what what items are popping up in your world. Now, I, I'm guessing how often and where and things like that. And it required a couple of uh, additional mods. And I watched their video on YouTube. And I did it. And we did it in a uh, 256 um, I don't know, block world, which is about a quarter of normal. And I just basically did an exploration kind of uh, setup. Well, this is where we are. This is where it dropped me, right where you see me. We've got a new uh, setting here. It's called Mod Settings. I haven't clicked on anything yet. But I'm just really excited about where we are, where it dropped me. Look at this. I'm in a village. And this is the thing that, that made me hop on the mic and the video and wanted to show you. Look at my map. What is all of this? I do seem to recall reading somewhere that one of these mods was going to drop uh, paths around the world. So I'm, I'm really, I'm, yeah, I'm overexcited about checking this out. So we are in a new world and we might be here for a while, maybe permanently. And I'm really sorry to the folks who were invested in the last, uh, story, but you know, when I, um, when I start new games, or new, uh, new saves, I tend never to go back to the old ones. Just because there's so many updates, mod updates and changes and things, that sometimes the old saves just can't keep up. Um, I am assuming, yeah, same problem. This is the same problem as usual. The villagers still can't use the doors. So we're going to just pop through here right quick. And the nice thing is, is it dropped us right here in a village. So I don't really have to worry about uh, finding food or much of anything else. Look at the mines are right here on the surface. Oh, okay. I think I know why. Wow, this is really quite amazing. The mine tunnels are on the surface. I also chose in one of my settings. Um, oh gosh, I'm, I'm guessing it it might say, how deep is your world? I said zero. So maybe that's why we're seeing the mines. Maybe that's why we're seeing all of this. <gasps> These are the mine tunnels. They're on the surface. Oh, oh my gosh. And look at this. This is a trader camp right in the middle. Okay. We're not staying here. I'm going to have to re restart this world. But this, to me, is very fascinating to see the mines and how vast they are. Look at that. If I had chosen the proper depth for this world, you wouldn't see any of this. You wouldn't know any of this was here. You wouldn't know the, um, the connectability of the world had these vine or mines 
not placed on the surface. Oh, I find this really fascinating. So now I'm curious which mod was talking about uh, implementing paths. Yeah, like I said, I'm not an expert at any of this. And I don't even pretend to understand the language they use to describe some of this stuff. But this, to me, is really fascinating. The mines, the tunnels, the paths, they're on the surface. Um, of course, you know, that means we don't get walls. So the only thing we're probably going to find is these um, ore deposits that are placed by the person who created this mine. Uh, wow. I feel like I'm learning secrets here. Look at this. This definitely gives you a picture of what it looks or what it is underneath the surface where you can't see. This to me almost feels like cheating because this is something that I often pictured myself doing when I'm down in the mines is drawing out the, uh, the roadmap of where these mines are. And when you make a left turn, you, you need to draw that on the map and, and all the other turns and what's here and what's there. But look at this. You wouldn't have to do that. Just set your world level to zero and um, all the mines will pop up on the surface for you. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, so now that we've done that, I am going to figure out where I spawned. It would be like right here somewhere. Wow, yeah, this, this to me is really fascinating. Okay. Keep what we've just learned in mind. I am going to restart the game, but give the world more depth. And then hopefully we'll come back to the same spot and see what we see. Kind of compare what just happened. All right, we shall return. Okay, I started a new world, and um, oof. you can see all of the uh, all of the mining uh, tunnels are back underground. Um, right off the bat, there's a village and a trader. Good trader camp, excellent. Um, I think there was a problem with one of my mods, the trader camp uh, mod. I wasn't getting um, the trader camps. I was only getting um, one single trader and they were very far apart from one another. Yeah, and I wasn't real happy with that. And I didn't know what was wrong. Okay, computer's just trying to catch up to what we just did. Um, yeah, I didn't know what was wrong with that. So I just kind of put up with it. And uh, yeah, thinking about it now, um, I may have um, only run into maybe a handful of traders in all that traveling that we did. Oh, yeah, we're going to need that. But we are heading for the village, which my rules, um, if I end up in a village and I help them out, then uh, I pretty much don't have to worry about uh, survival because I can live in the village in the safety of those walls. Holy moly, look at that. Um, I fix things up and clean things up and that gives me, um, okay, the computer's just trying to catch up. It's okay. 
Don't anybody panic. Least of all me. Um, anyway, I don't even know what I was saying now. Anyway, oh yeah. Living and working in the village, they, um, they pay me to do these things. And I get paid by, um, tools and storage and food and anything else that I could possibly need. So, it's almost like they take me in as one of their own and provide. Whoa. Okay, we're already hitting fascinating stuff. These things I want right here. Because we can make... Um, oh yeah, we can't go down there yet. And I can't just go and get um, anything right now because I haven't gone to the village. We haven't signed any contracts for labor. So I can't just wander over to creative and grab a light source. So yeah, it's going to be a little dark. Look at all of that. Okay, am I going to get... Oh golly. Come on, come on, you can do it. <gasps> Eek! Um, let's see, what would be the safest way around here? Alright, grabbing that would be dumb. I want those. Yes, this is this is where we make dumb decisions. Because we see shiny things. My game keeps freezing up. That is okay though. I did make a major change. So and we did start a new world. Um we have no no shovels, no picks, no tools, no nothing. So let's very carefully get out of here. Yeah, I know. It is okay. We're heading for the village. We'll go there. We'll regroup. We'll decide what we need to do. Right after we figure out where we are. Oh, there we go. All I gotta do is make a turn here. And we should head right to the village. Let's grab this flint so I can make some tools. Oh, look, food. Yay. Oh, you know what? We do not have a knife. Let's make a knife. Um, there it is. Um,. Let's see. I am supposed to have a napping mod here. It's okay, because we can still do it that way. We'll have to uh, investigate why that's not working. I don't know if I'm... Uh, if it's legitimate I'm giving something up to get something, and napping is one of those things that we, we're losing. I don't know. Um, I want a knife to pick up these uh, mushrooms because I am told that if you use a knife to pick up the mushrooms, they will grow back. If you uh, just pluck them all willy-nilly, they might not grow back. So we're going to try and do this proper-like. Ah, don't want you. Go away. Okay, um... We should be really close to the village. Yeah, we are. Look at it. It's right there. But first we must get distracted by all the shiny things. Because, you know, that's one of the rules. Yeah, also, um... I did mention that this world is a quarter of the size of our normal worlds, or the standard default world. I don't know what that's going to change for me as far as um, what I'll be able to uh, explore, or how many, or how far apart. Yeah, don't know any of those things, but we'll find out. Okay. Hi there. 
Hi. Oh, you really anxious to get outside, are you? Nice. This is interesting. Okay, let's go open some more doors. Um, we might have to make some changes here, because... Ah, okay. Yeah, this, this is an issue. We got a hill right in the middle. Now, this particular village layout is different than the one that we spawned into in the last uh, save that we just came from. This is very different. Okay, what, what happened here, huh? That one might need to be dug out. Hi there, Mithild. How are you? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, let's grab some more mushrooms because it's all we have for food. And I'm, I'm trying to pick up on this village if, if I'm familiar with this layout at all. Um... Okay. I have to do this right off the bat. Because if I don't, then we lose all that food to the critters. So anyway, so I just grabbed a bunch of fence pieces and we'll be fencing off whatever farms we find. We're going to open doors. Ooh, hi there. You may come out of your house. Hi there. Let's grab sticks. Sticks make uh, tool racks and ladders and other things we might need. I can definitely see some things are underground. Yeah, this, this village layout it really feels different. Because there's a castle, and in, in all the other layouts I've seen, this house here is never this close to the castle. So, I'm kind of excited about having a new, new layout. It'll be interesting to see what changes we uh, need to do here. Um, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. People are still a little... They're still a little confused. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. But then again, nothing has been changed as far as the um, as far as the village mod update. Nothing has been updated. Nothing has changed. So yeah, we're still going to have. Wow. Okay, we'll come back to this. Yeah, we're still going to have confused, um, where is, there I am. Definitely going to have to go and, uh, figure out what all this white is about. What's going on in the castle there that's causing that? Okay, yeah. Opening new worlds is, for me, is very exciting. Because you just don't know what you're going to find. Okay, I think we're just going to go in this way because... Because... Because, because, because... Hi, Philippa. Okay, um... I'm not seeing an issue so far. Um, is it flooded? Well, this is very fascinating. Oh, golly. What are you doing in the water? Is this the flooding over here? The reason that this uh, village is showing? Yeah. Yeah, see all the white specks on the map? I've said it before. To me, this is a conflict. There's something 
something wrong with this situation and that's why it's uh, showing the white specks and sometimes you can fix it yeah I know you can fix it very simply by um, replacing a block oh see there A big chunk of it got fixed. Let's let's go over here and see if we can trigger something over here. Yep, that's fixed. Um, okay, over here. Nope. That's fixed. Good. Yeah, I don't really know why why it does that. Kind of doesn't make sense because it's just all I did was simply replace some blocks just randomly. All right, so now the whole castle area is uh, is fixed, cleaned up. Now over here in this house, they're telling us there's a problem. Um, we need to open up doors, and I don't know what's through here, but I generally pop a hole through here. And I open up some uh, access points. Right now I'm just going to open doors. We'll focus on replacing these doors at another time. But right now I just want all the people to be able to uh, get out of their houses. Okay. See if we can uh, find our way out of here. And I want to go fix that other spot on the map that is showing a conflict. I want to see which house that is. Hmm. Huh. It's this one. This house always, always has blocks and it's usually right here so let's go and get dark mud brick and replace it yeah see done don't know why not a clue okay um there's one more white speck let's see if we can find it and then I'm going to do an aerial of this place and see if I uh, got all the houses and farms or gardens. Ah, okay. It's this one. Why? What is the conflict with this one? Hi there. I don't really see a problem with this. So I don't know why it's showing a white block. Um, let's go out here. See if we can pinpoint more closely what block it's telling us is having an issue. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pinpoint this one. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's on the inside. It's in here. All right. Maybe it's a floor. Okay. Let's uh, let's swap out one of these floors and see if that's the issue. Yeah, it's fixed now. Okay. Well, I think for the time being, this is our new home. I really would like to find a, um, a cave. And, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Look how close we are to the village. Um, 
Um, shouldn't you be in the fence? Okay, how can I get you in the fence? Well, first of all, I can do this. Oh, where are you going? There we go. Now you're in the fence. And you, my dear little one. Let's get you in the fence. Okay, go in. That's not how you go in. This is, this is how you hustle animals. Go on. Go in. And you can't come out. Because I'm faster than you. there. You now have two babies and they are in the fence. Anyway, as I was saying, I'd like to find a cave and drop down and see, uh, see what's going on underground. Now, unfortunately, I've opened all the doors, I've set all the people free, and we have a bear problem. So, unless these people take out that bear, um, he can go into their homes and slaughter them in their sleep. Alright, why is there such a big shadow right there? getting late in the day and I've done enough work that I've earned a lantern. Them are my rules. Um, do we have enough of these to make anything? Yeah, we have our first storage. Look at that. Nice. All right. Let's put some things in our storage. Good. All right. Wow, this was very exciting. Let's uh, let's take an overhead. I'm curious about this layout. Like I said, this I'm not familiar with this layout, and it's really nice to see a different a different layout. I have probably encountered maybe six different different layouts of villages yeah and I think um, if I clear some of the hills here and define the paths more light things up <gasps> oh golly no no you Go away, go away, go away. Mm. 
does not want to go down. <gasps> we did it. Finally. My goodness. Okay. And we even got something out of it. Alright. Now. Can we find our way home? Oh boy. Let's grab these things while we're out here. Because I am... I'm not even going to bother with the... Uh, with the cattail baskets. Little hand baskets right now. I'm just going to focus on grabbing these uh, spider webs. Or silk or... Whatever the game is calling it. Spider silk. And, um... Ooh. Look at this. Now, normally I would tap one of these, pick it up, and it would put it on my map. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to start collecting. So we're just going to hit the, uh, the axe on the orange. And it'll put it on our map for us. And then I'm going to go back and change it to a C. For copper. Um... Okay, we're not too far from the village. Um, something's going on up here. Don't know what. So let's head back to the village and then... Uh, maybe assess some of, our, some of our life choices here. Again, as I said earlier... Um, I'm sorry to the folks who were invested in the last storyline, but if you've been watching me, you know that I I change lanes very abruptly. Um, I have every intention of going back to the other, but if if this one consumes my time and attention, then this is where we'll be. So, and we'll make the best of whatever this village, this world has to offer. Okay, um, can anybody tell me where the castle is? There it is. Why is there a path here? So this is one of the things I do when I come into these villages that are really deformed, is find these paths find out what its intention was. Oh, hey, we haven't seen that. What it was meant to do, anyway, and define them. So, I wanted to come in here and see how many people were, were in here. Where are you going? Where do you live? Are you going to your regular house where you're supposed to go? Because that would be nice if you all were acting like normal people. Let's follow them and see. See where they're going. Judith, where are you going? Are you going to show me where there's a house that I don't know about yet? Because I have a feeling there might be some hidden... Hidden houses here. Somewhere. Okay, there's one. That door didn't get open. Okay. She didn't close the door. Mm, that further... Confirms to me that they can't operate these doors. Um, rarely is there two people in this house. That's really rare. Um, and what's going on down here? Yeah, 
We have a lot to explore in this village. Hopefully you're on board with me here. Yeah, we don't always have to stick to one one save, one storyline. What are you doing? We can hop around. Um, this is a farmer in the wrong house. This is the house where the Smiths generally live. So we still have people who are disoriented. That's that's what we'll say. They're disoriented. Okay. Now, I don't know what's going on here. But judging by the the path down here, this was not the intended uh, picture. There should have been some water here. This this ground here would have been higher, so we'll we'll build it up, and then we'll kind of get a better picture of what was intended with this design here. So maybe we'll add more to this tree and we'll put ground under it. Yeah, so then we'll have an idea of what was uh, what the designer intended. Okay, Olivia, traitor, could not find your door? Oh, someone's in your house. A soldier's in your house. Oh, yes. Person who's in charge of this mod, please fix my villagers. They have been broken in how many saves now? Three? Three of my saves? And every time I start a new save, I have the hope that Maybe this time they'll be fixed. They'll act normal. No such luck. All right, what do we got here? We have a shepherd, a farmer, a farmer, and a farmer. So these people didn't make it home. Hmm. Okay, well, this is our new save. We don't know yet if we'll be back in this one next time or if we're going to go back to the chateau. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to assess that. <laughs>